The first thing I want to talk about is how do we close 15, 20, 25 deals a month? The biggest thing that holds people up a lot of times is that they waste time dealing with the wrong person. And when I say waste time, that doesn't mean going up to somebody and asking them, hey, do you want to buy right now? What I mean when I say wasting time means that they're out speaking with someone without having any understanding of really what's going on with this person and what makes them tick. When you can understand what's going on as far as in the lives of the people that you interact with and that you greet at your store, your road to the battle is halfway won. Because a lot of folks, when they go up and they greet a person, they do what I call the 18 minute presentation, which is they wanna rush through it as quickly as they can and feel like they wanna save themselves some time without really identifying the fact that up until this point, when this customer showed up on the lot, they're a stranger. They have no idea who you are. You have no idea who they are if they're not a referral of someone that sent you in, sent them into you. So people go out and they greet these people and they ask them crazy questions. They say things like, can I help you? Which is a silly question because you're hired by the dealership. Your responsibility is to help every guest that shows up on the lot. So when you ask a guest, can I do for you what my employer hired you to do? And they say, no, you're done. Anything you do after that, now you're invading on their privacy. Also, anytime when a person reaches, walks out to a guest and they greet them with, how you doing? That's another mistake due to the fact that by us not knowing how they're doing and being unfamiliar with this person, anytime we ask someone how you're doing, it forces them to take a mental trip back through their morning, their night, and everything. And so by us being unaware of what's really going on in their life, we may have just potentially forced them to take a trip back through every negative experience. Think about it. Have you ever said, how you doing to somebody? And they say, oh, I stubbed my toe. My dog ran out this morning. I was late. I got stuck in traffic. They got a ticket on the way to work. They got into an argument. Their kid got trouble. They go through every negative thing. And in sales, the objective is to keep a person as positive minded as possible as we go through the process. So there's no need to rush this part. It's all about greeting people the right way. The most effective greeting that I teach sales consultants that I work with is you want to welcome a person to your dealership because welcome is on the floor mat for a reason. You want to make people feel comfortable. Even though a person is excited about that potential purchase, they dread coming to deal with you. They go online preparing to do battle with you. Their parents have taught them how to avoid being screwed by you. So they're expecting you to come up. They're expecting you to not be concerned about what they really want. They're expecting you to come up and try to overwhelm and overload them with information and try to sell, sell, sell. Which is why you really want to disarm this person by only being focused on greeting them, welcoming them. Hey, welcome to ABC dealership. My name is, and you are? You know, finding out what's going on with them. Are you here to see anybody else? Um, or is this your first time here? Ask them, can you write their name down when they give it to you? All types of things that really show that you're totally focused on that customer, okay? So the, the first way for you to be able to close 15, 20, 25 deals, it all starts in your greeting. Who is your customer? What do you know about them? Do you greet them, welcome them to the lot, get their name, find out which product they want information on, and then bring them into the dealership to sit them down and ask them questions? Or are you walking out to people, greeting them, and then bouncing them around vehicle to vehicle? Now, if you're greeting folks and bouncing them around vehicle to vehicle, let me tell you the risk you run in that. You take a person um, that you just walk up to and you just greeted them to your lot. Now you start walking. So you're walking, there's a lot of cars, a lot of things going on. They're looking all around. They're looking at the vehicles. There's other people walking and whatnot. So you all may be asking a few questions and then you get to the vehicle. And you say, okay, you like this one? Wait right here, let me run and go get some keys. Now you run the risk of them walking back to their vehicle, getting in and leaving. Or if it's a hot day, they're out there standing in the hot sweating. Or if it's a cold day, they're standing out there freezing. You go get the keys, you come open up the vehicle. If it's a hot day, it's a sauna in there. If it's a cold day, it's freezing. So you never got an opportunity to set the stage and differentiate yourself from every other dealership they went to. Because most salespeople, they're inwardly focused rather than outwardly focused. So they want to speed it up and save themselves time as opposed to slowing it down and making sure that it's comfortable and they know everything about this guest. Hopefully you at your dealership, you're slowing down. You're taking the time to find, welcome them, get them inside so you can sit them down to find out what's going on. There's nothing worse than spending, uh, walking, spending time with somebody, showing them this vehicle, spending another hour and a half or two hours with them just to find out that it was the wrong thing. So you want to bring a person in, sit them down, find out what their problems are because you want to make sure you can even help them. You may not have a product that can help this person. 
So the only way to identify that is by greeting them, welcome into your lot, getting, giving them your name, getting theirs. Ask them, can you jot it down? You write it down. Finding out, are they here to see anybody? Thank them for coming. Offer them a business card early. That way, if they do have to, to cut out, you've got the card. When I see folks still trying this old sales tactic, which is when a customer asks them for a card, they say, I don't have any on me. Follow me inside. Then they bring them inside and they try to bombard them. That really turns people off. So giving them a card earlier in the process is so different than everybody else. Plus, in the event that they do have to go, they have a way to communicate with you in the event you didn't already get their information. So once you get them inside and you're asking them the questions, you're finding out, is are you looking for new or pre-owned? Is this for business or personal? Personal use. You're going through your information sheet that your dealership provides you or whatever question questionnaire that your dealership provides. Now, now that we have the information, it's all about presenting them with a solution. So once you get that information from the guest, what they're going to be using it for, are they looking for light, medium, or dark color, uh, what budget range are they used to, what is it on their old vehicle they'd like to see on their new, what other fe additional features would they just like to have, do they have to have. Now you go over to the management. Now you get with the management team and you're giving them the set of conditions, what they're looking for, what they're going to be using it for, um, what type of money they're making, what type of money they're looking to spend or invest or whatnot. Now they help you identify a specific vehicle and you go and you check out the keys. Now when you're, when you're presenting a solution, a vehicle solution for a guest, making sure that you have the right product that from where the features of this particular vehicle solves a particular problem, a specific problem of that guest. We, that's how you identify if you're on the right product. It's not about trying to sell them a car. It's about helping them buy. As a matter of fact, people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. So never try to sell someone a car. Always ask the right questions so that way you can help them make a smart, safe buying decision. Too many sales folks, they want to rush through, rush through, rush through. There's no communication. There's no rapport established. Everything they speak about with this guest is all about the vehicle. So if they've been to two or three different dealerships and they've dealt with the other reps and they did, that's all they spoke about was that car, was the vehicle. They didn't ask them anything personal about them. You know what will happen is the only way that this guest will be able to make a decision on what the best option will be, it'll be about price. And when it's all about price, you lose. It's about finding out what their problems are, where their pain is, who you're dealing with, who they are. Show them that you genuinely care about getting to know them because people do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. Once you find out, putting them on that right product. Now, once you've identified that product, bring that product out into the lane or pull it up to the front of the dealership. Make sure it has no leaves on it. It looks clean. If it's a hot day outside, crank that AC on and get it going on. If it's a cold day, crank that heat on. Get in there. Make sure you know how to work the controls so you're familiar with it. So when you're showing them everything, you're smooth. Once you have it pulled out, pop that hood, okay? Because the next step is going to be to go in there, get them, and pull them out. Remember, presentation is everything. Because once you get a person in and you find out what's going on, and you've identified the product, once you go to show it to them, this is where you really can build value. And let's face it, price is always going to be important to people. But when you're great at building value, they'll pay a little bit more something for something. Why? Because they feel it's worth it. But the fact that you're watching this video lets me know that you and I both know that what you hear, you can feel it. And when you hear it, it just makes sense. And if you think this makes sense, there's a link that's in the description. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you access to all the tools that I share with people that are earning 80, 90, $100,000 a year from the ages of 20 all the way up to 70. And it's all available for you. Just click the link in the description. And, I, and I'm, so, I'm so confident in it that I would just like you to go over and look. And another thing is you and I can work together. You go over and check that out and you realize like hundreds of other people realize the value in it. Once you get started, you'll get an email from me within 24 hours setting up yours and my phone call and you and I are gonna rock this thing out together and work together. And that's in the description. But I'm Brian Maxwell, over and out.